just like a big old suit of armor. Yeah, maybe the maybe the dancer bonfire is a bit closer. Or at least it's a bit easier to get to. Um Dancer of the Boreal. There we go. This boss won't be too hard for you. You say that, I'm pretty sure I died more to the Dragon Slayer armor on my first playthrough versus the I think I've just never I, I, before today I never had any issue with the with the Dancer of the Boreal Valley. So maybe, maybe I'll be fine against the, the Dragon Slayer boy. He's not normally too bad. He has, um, there's like spindly dragon ghosts nearby, aren't there? And they like shoot you from a range, perhaps? Perhaps that's what's going on. Oh, this, that's Osiris down there. Okay, I don't really want to fight Osiris. And I don't remember where the forward is. Have we opened a lift? I think it's in this room and to the left, maybe? This is the room with the, the priest boy. Maybe this is faster, I don't know, because... Well, the other bonfire is definitely closer, but we have to run through enemies each time, so that might cause issues. We can at least go up here at this point. Armor isn't too bad. Okay, we'll give him a shot. Ooh. It's mostly just two-handing as well, isn't it? You don't tend to shield through a lot of it. So, um... I'm assuming we'll be fine. Maybe I should run Butcher's Axe, then. Let's try Let's try the Butchers. Let's try it like this. This, this. Yeah, that sounds about right. And then now we've got all this equip button, we can equip slightly better gear. Like the cell sword set, maybe? Get ourselves up to like 50%. Uh, yeah, that's good enough. Oh shit, no. I mean, actually that's what I meant to do, so that's pretty good. No? Oh, I must have unequipped it, okay. The ads are relatively easy to... Oh, there is a little roar in the background, a little, a small roar, if you will. Okay, I'm glad I discovered this lift. I think through my first game I didn't know that lift, so I ran through the dragons each time. I forever. Just dodge a lot. Yeah, it's actually the dragon, it's not actually the- Oh, you're, you're smaller than I remember. I thought you were like humongous. Okay, let me try and learn your moveset. I could swear he was a like, ginormous. Instead, I guess it's the, um... What are you up to? Oh! Okay. Maybe I have lightning resistance here, I should work. It's kind of doomed, yeah. Okay. He's very lightning isn't he? That's like his thing. Watch out for the shield bash. Okay, so may maybe I should like dodge through most of the sword swings. He's about as tall as Ornstein. Yeah, he's not as big- I could swear the boss was ginormous. I don't know why I have memories of that. What's my best uh, lightning resistant? Fallen knight gear, maybe? Sorcerer gear, old sorcerer gear. Winged knight. Oh, it's the fat set. Okay. I can't wear the fat set, actually. I've got no uh, endurance. I'm gonna wear the Fallen Knight set, then. That looks cool. Fallen Knight set. Fallen... Okay, we're wearing it. Sweet. Now we look really cool. Like, hey, I'm an old lady, but I'm ready to kick some bottom. What are you up to? Yeah. I don't know. I think this is the hardest part about Dark Souls in general, is learning the boss pattern. Once you've got the boss pattern down, you can basically speedrun the game at that point. And that's what, that's what you're doing as a speedrunner. Like, unless you're using... If you're playing glitched, obviously, you don't have to, but... If you're playing normal Dark Souls speedruns, i.e. you're not using like equipment glitches to swing giant axes at the speed- or the giant clubs at the speed of a rapier. If you're just playing it normally, then um, you're not- don't have too much trouble because it's just pattern recognition and the bosses become like the easiest part of the game. But the issue is trying to learn what attacks you can dodge and what attacks you can't. Because there's some stuff that's AoE and one-shots you and there's no way you know until you've died to it at least once. So you end up dying like four or five times to each boss just learning their one-shot moves. And the harder bosses are just the ones with a bit more variety, aren't they? Yeah, he does do a two, do a really big two-handed, doesn't he? All right. I could swear you were so much bigger. Oh, that's not okay. I'm sorry for saying you were small. I did not get the timing. That, this can't be the quickest bonfire, can it? You enjoy doing boss runs in Dark Souls One. It's a lot of fun. To try and see how bad your set can be to defeat all the bosses. Yeah. This can't be the closest bonfire, can it? Maybe the one in Lothric Castle is a bit faster if we just dodge around the guy. Because if we're going to be doing this a couple of times, I don't want to have to run forever each time. Is it this one, maybe? Do not call him small. Okay, I'll try not to offend him too much. You get you get health back with this, don't you? With the um, this giant sword I'm using. It's one of those bosses that have a negligible difference between phase one and phase two. Yeah, because he does have a second phase where he's all lightning and shit. He's like, hey, what's up? Okay. 
Okay, that was the main issue I didn't want to have to run past each time, but it's actually not too bad. And if we just run around everyone, like, super zoom. So, oh, this is faster, yeah. As long as we also pull the um, lift back each time, because I think if we forget to pull the lift down, we'll probably die. Goodbye. You can drop from that bonfire. What do you mean? You can drop from that bonfire. God, you can't see her face. She's all enshrouded in dark. Wait, how are our rings? Our rings are all good. Okay. Let me in, please. I should probably also equip some just like regular fireballs if I'm not going to be using the Carthus Flame Mark. Just so in case he's on like two health, I can spam Pyromancy at him, maybe. Let's try again. I should also probably use my like superpower. There we go. Yeah, Souls Retreat, very good. Thanks for leaving them outside the boss arena. Oh, that's a big shield. He's another one of those bosses with like a huge delay on his attacks, that's a bit weird. Oh god, that is delayed. Your shield does too much damage, my friend. We're not doing enough damage, are we? Maybe we should switch back to our other weapon. Wing, ringer, ringer, Rosie? Something, something, Dragon Slayer is a... Posey? No? Okay. Mm. Ignore me. I'm a nice man. Lady. God, this is awful! <laughs> I don't like that. Yeah, we should, we should at least try our other, like, axe. Maybe it is a bit better. Just so much damage. Do your double shield bash. Oh god. It's also learning what attacks you can get a swing in, because right now I'm not actually sure when I can do damage. Like, I think I could dodge most of his attacks okay forever. But it's knowing when I can actually do any damage to him, because the boss doesn't die until you hurt him. You can't just dodge to getting killed. Oh, he had a uh, knockdown. You have like no poise. No, no, you have loads of poise. You were doing a super move. Oh, this is a choreographed attack, isn't it? Oh, that's not what you thought you were gonna do. I think we're gonna like attack me. Not send a shockwave at me. What are you up to? Okay, I'm gonna try a different sword, because I don't think we're doing nearly enough damage. We should try Dalbridge. Maybe, yeah. The way he swings the sword, the axe to the side is kind of annoying. Delayed attacks are the worst. Yeah, I don't think the... We're not doing enough damage to kill this guy, but whereas Aldrich, who got down to half HP on the first go, I'm gonna go here and give him another go. You should level up by using some of the collected souls. That's a good idea. Yeah. Um, because this thing scales A with strength, doesn't it? If we just throw everything into strength up until like 25 or something, 27, we should do pretty fine. Might only just be, be like 20, actually. I don't know where the soft cap is. I thought it was 27. So what souls am I never going to use? Um, let's use this. Let's use all of these. Let's use... Oh no, I want to use all of them. Use selected. Use all of those. What are we at now? 55. Okay. We've collected a lot of these little usable souls, so we should be pretty good. 800, 8,000, you selected. Okay, those are all like the main ones we're going to use. We're at like about 100,000 souls, okay. Yes. 
Very well then. It's quite a lot. One, two, three, four. Oh, sweet. Five, six. Oh, a lot of levels out there. Holy shit. One, two, three, four, five, six. We had six levels just lying around in regular salt. Now we have um, enough strength we can actually one hand this axe. Which is pretty sweet. Um, it's quicker to start the dance with the Boreal Valley, is it? Okay. The, the armor is actually an animated suit of armor. I do remember that. The giant dragons are like well, people that have like ascended, aren't they? Well, then. And they're just running around being. And um, what would we want? To, like, I don't have the souls, but what would we want next? Um, because I'll. Vi I, I like vigor being at a thousand, just because it's a nice level. Um, endurance could go up again. I guess to take that to like forty. Um, we don't need dex. Our dex is on nine. That's fine. And strength. Okay. Do we have enough large shards? How are, we, how are we doing on those? We only have one. Because we need, like, a couple more large shards, and then we can start throwing levels into this Butcher's Axe, but I don't think there's any way- Oh, you're in here, I thought you died. There's no way for us to buy large shards, is there? Endurance caps at 40, yeah. Um, is there a way I can get large shards quite quickly? Because I need to farm, like, three, I think, and then I'd be quite happy to have a stupidly good Butcher's Axe. But the issue is, I need large. Like, I've got plenty of chunks to start leveling other stuff Ashen. up. Yeah, Ashen 1, Ashen 1, Ashen 1. I'm gonna start also using these other souls. Like, Yawn the Giant, I don't want. Soul of Pontiff, I don't want his swords. I just want his souls. Dancer, I don't really want the swords either. Wolf Blood, that just gives you Artorias, doesn't it? I don't need that. We can get a couple of souls out of these. Soul of Dancer, I really don't want the Dancer stuff either. Endurance should be your next pirate priority, or vitality is going to wear better armor and still faster well, all. We can get a couple more. We can get three levels. Oh, nearly four, actually. Um, endurance. Maybe. Strength. We get quite a bit more damage out of it, actually. Hmm. Should I take strength to 27? So technically, it's, I think 27 is the soft cap on strength. I don't actually remember. It's because you dual wield, so technically I'm not at 26. If I'm dual wielding, I'm technically at, like just under 40. So I'm going to take that to the what I think is the strength soft cap. And vitality? Nah. Dex? Nah. Yeah, let's shove it in. We don't need more vigor. Yeah, you, you don't get very much health out of this. You don't get like 70 each time. You get 19. And I don't think we need attunement slots. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Okay, let's just shove it into endurance then so we can use our axe a bit more. Where's your mask and suit? All you need is backstabs. That is true. And we're a little bit away from the next level. I don't know how much these give us. Okay, we'll use, I think, all of our souls here to get, like, one more level. I think that's all we need, maybe. Is that going to be enough? We might be, like, a little bit off. We need... Oh god, we might be, like, a tiny bit off and we're going to have to kill, like, one enemy to try and get our souls. Yeah, we're going to be, like, a tiny bit off, aren't we? Oh, we're so close. You know what, we can kill the Uchigatana guy, I think. Can we Can we get to the Uchigatana guy? You go out the front door of this place, which is like here, is it? Can we go through here yet? Are we allowed out? No? How the hell do you get to... Is it up top, maybe? You have to go up top and then there's like a little exit? Because you're meant to be able to go outside the front of Firelink, aren't you? And it's slightly different. Hmm. Infuse the butcher knife with heavy. I don't think you can infuse the butcher knife is the issue. Which you guys should be cake at this level. Roll at the fog wall out of it. What, what I roll through the fog wall? Go out the way you came in. I don't remember the way I came in, to be perfectly honest. I just kind of fell down from up that. Oh. Maybe I have to go up there then. Because I come up to a top level and then you fall down, don't you? You're like around here and then you just drop in, don't you? Maybe I need to be up to another slight uh, thing of sense. Keep rolling through the fog. Fog door takes a while to disappear. It's a loading thing. Really? Okay, that seems a little stupid, but okay. Like, Dark Souls isn't normally this bad. I just roll at it and it goes away. I can't be... Really? That doesn't seem right, but okay. That doesn't feel very Dark Souls-y. Like, they're normally pretty good at hiding loading zones. Oh, it's nice to be able to one end this thing. He's down here, aren't he? Down... There he is. No, that's not him. Hang a shot right on your memory. Yes, yeah, on the right. Are the words on the back of the throne? Yeah, it just says the name of the boy, doesn't it? Well, this thing has quite some range to it as well. Who is it? Where are you not here on the right? I was under the impression that Uchigai was like there. 
You're not the Uchi guy. The Uchi guy's like naked. He doesn't wear anything. It's uh, the katana, if you haven't seen the game. It's just a guy running around with a katana around here, and you kill him, and I think he gives you like 2,000 souls. That's all we need. Are you not here, Uchi? Maybe, maybe not? We haven't already killed him, have we? Ooh. I've completely forgotten where he is then. I could swear he was here. Maybe he's on the other side then. Maybe they moved him. Upper left. Upper left. Upper left. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah, we, we completely ignore this area. It's a sharp right. You have to go right around the corner, not just down the abyss. Here we go. This was the sword I was considering getting at the start, because pyromancy is normally good to go with dex, so you can shoot stuff faster. But I'm going with strength, because it's cool. And I always go for dex. Oh, there you are. There's Uchi boy. I don't remember what you do. You just do like a, like a slide, don't you? You have way more HP than I thought you were going to have. I think you normally just get him to fall off the edge, don't you? Try me. Was that 2,000? Hello? Yes, yeah, exactly 2,000. We got his also naked gear and the Uchi. Sweet. And here is like some fading soul or something. Oh, no, it's a shield. Okay. We should have come here way sooner. Maybe we should go get the crow, because we haven't done any of the crow stuff, have we? Fading soul, yeah. You control him, yeah. There's a, like a weird jump you have to do to get to the trading crow around here. Or, or something like that. Like, it's really strange. I do not remember how you get to the crow, though. You don't just... It's not just a walk up here. It's a homeward bone. Maybe I'm misremembering and I glitched it out last time I came through here. And that, is, that isn't actually the jump you're meant to do. That's... Can't be right. Mm. Okay, I don't remember what I'm doing. You get, if you get, you'll get a pair of katanas from an NPC in the Grand Archives behind the armor boss. You can just buy the key from the Shrine Maiden. Oh, is that what the key unlocks? It's like a door around here to go up into a tower. And then the tower, there's an NPC who, like, kills you and you're like, Oh, no, don't do that. And then you get a ring. Loosely, loosely, loosely remember bits and bobs. But let me finally level up, like, endurance a bit more. Sorry, I nearly uh, removed Lux. your head. Hello. Yep, I just want endurance, please. Sweet. Oh shit, I should have used those to buy the key, maybe. How many do we need of your key? Because I don't think we can actually buy it. T uh, 20,000. No, thank you. We'll ignore that for now. We'll come back at a later point. Let's try Aldrich. Aldrich. And get an Estus Shard out of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll do that in the future. Maybe once we... If we can beat, um... Bloody Aldrich. Give him a go. Estus Ring, which ups the amount of health healed with Estus. That's what it is. There was, like, some super amazing item that you needed to get from it. I think it's the ring, isn't it? The Estus Ring makes it so, like, every Estus is, like, a full heal, basically, isn't it? Especially if you level up. Because our Estus is plus five. We've done a pretty good job at getting the, um, undead bone shards or whatever. Okay. I'm gonna go give Aldrich a few more goes, then. Also, because we have a weapon... Oh, okay. Well... Also, because we have a weapon now that we don't have to buff constantly, it means that our weapon is the same throughout the whole fight. Instead of it only being good at the start when we've used our fire. Oh, you're annoying, aren't you? Oh, they home as well, aren't they? This reminds me weirdly of the... Like, the up to the boss in the water temple in Ocarina of Time, where you have to run past all the spinners. Hello. And you're using your Dark Moon Blade. It's great. And then you're going to do a super large attack that gets me through my, uh... Oh, that's an area of effect. Okay, I need to learn Aldrich's uh, moveset, don't I? That's going to be an issue for a little while, I think. Oh. Okay, I need to remember how to dodge this thing. Because I genuinely have no idea. Do I just stand behind a pillar? Okay, there you go. I've learned how to dodge it. And that's a super big one. And then we have to time him to run in and attack you a couple of times. Where am I? You just attack his bum, don't you? A river foot. Okay. I think he's doable. Don't use your bone. Oh, well. Okay. That actually kind of hurt my eyes a bit. So, I thought 
a test to see if you could stun lock him out of using his bow. Because sometimes you can do that with bosses, where like if they're doing, if they're charging an attack, you're either meant to run away if you're far away, or um, get close and attack him. So I just wanted to see if I could like stun him out of using his weird super bow attack. Apparently not. I think it makes it more interesting for Woolen having 8 or 9 SS and not the max 15. Yeah, like... I think it's... When you get to the point where you have full super Estus for everything, the game becomes a lot more like Dark Souls 2 when you've got a bunch of those, um... Healing... Orbs? I don't remember what they're called. But in Dark Souls 2, basically, you can buy a healing item that you can have, like, a million of. So the game gets to the point where you just hide behind walls, use these, like, cheap healing items repeatedly, and... Basically, the only time you die is if you're in the Shrine of whatever, the Shrine of Ariamus or whatever, where everything one-shots you. And you're in everything. I probably should have a bit more Estus, yeah. There's um, there's a Mimic in the shadowy prison area that I completely ignored. Well, I didn't ignore him. I just never bothered finishing him. Don't, 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 don't. don't. What is that? Oh, that's the bow attack. It's our bow attack. It's not the one I thought it was going to be. I think he's a really cool design-wise boss, at least. Like, it just being a big old snake covered in, like, human corpses is kind of cool. Can you hit his tail when he's... Oh, never mind. When he's doing that attack, like, is he... vulnerable? Oh, that's the bow. They just get behind a pillar when he does that, don't you? Get behind a pillar when he does that, and then he's gonna do a super big attack. He's gonna do two super big attacks? Excuse me. Why did your mum let you have two? I consumed her because she was weak. Oh, that's uh, gonna be an easy one, hopefully. Getting a bit close. Oh, I didn't know your like spear swing was gonna do so much. I love the sound of my controller smashing repeatedly on R1. Okay, this boss should be doable. I will die a few times, maybe. But... Oh, he becomes Embered. And he has a Scythe? Oh, no, did he kill Priscilla? Oh, it's not a Scythe, is it? Oh, shit. Help. Oh. Excuse me? You can't attack me from above, I'm behind a pillar. I learned how to dodge this attack last time, you changed it slightly. Jeez, man. Okay, so I don't need to be behind a pillar for those. I can just run to the side, I think. I did more damage than last time. Okay. It's a scythe, but he hasn't killed her. Okay. Well, that's a little annoying. Maybe I should wear some slightly better armor. Yeah, you can hit the tail. For the first phase, it's a straight line, and the second hit chases. Ooh, okay. S shard is also a drop down halfway down the elevator when you get to Osiris. Okay. Okay. But the issue, I don't think, is that we're running out of Estus. I think the issue is we're just we're dying. Actually, we've got, we've got, like, a really good armor set on. I don't think we need to change this. We just need to be better. The bosses should have those pillar removed. Most fights just happen here, get super cheesed by them. It's just Dark Souls in general, isn't it? Like, none of the enemies quite know what to do around pillars. So as their way of balancing super difficult boss fights... Well, that's a bit rude. They basically just give you pillars and expect you to either cheese them or know the pattern well enough that you can just dodge through literally everything. Maybe they just get destroyed instantly. Yeah, in one, the pillars actually have like a really thick base, so they're not that helpful at the end. They're useful for the first half though, but like in this game, they do just instantly go away. And the main reason you want them, I think, is for that arrow attack. Okay, let's be better. Can I run at you when you're doing that? You can use your bow? I'm okay with the bow. I should try using my um, R2 sometime. I've never really tried it. Oh, I missed. Oh, that's disgusting. I like it. Oh, I knew it. You're gonna use your bow, aren't you? Or some other bullshit. I consider that some other bullshit. Oh! I thought I was out of range of the fog. Okay. If you zigzag as you swing the happening, it's easier to avoid the night boys. Okay. I have gotten hit by that night, uh, night each time, yeah. It's a beautiful woman boss. Yeah, it's, um... What does Aldrich actually look like? We don't actually know, do we? It's just like a big god 
devouring snails look. I still haven't done the smoldering lake. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. This boss is, it's just that he's eaten, um, the boss has eaten the, fuck, <laughs> every time. The boss ate, um, Gwendolyn, didn't he? And Gwendolyn is a male who looks like a female. And you get multiple hits in one swing. That's actually an interesting thought. I don't think so, but maybe. I'm trying. Maybe I should do Smoldering Lake, because that's what the, that's where I thought I got the Clark Carthus Flame Arc from, but. We've already got that, clearly. Every time. Smoldering Lake should be a joke. Yeah, hopefully. We are a little overleveled for it. I normally do that instead of, um... The city. Nice. I've got the camera. Don't do your stupid attack. He's doing it. Oh. He's gonna spawn over there. Oh, I did it. Look at that. Game sensed him. What I don't like is if you attack him, you can't see any of his, uh, you can't see his, uh, what he's doing. Because your attacks are like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's make him jiggle. That goes all my endurance. Spawn there. Oh. Are you gonna do your stupid bow attack? What is that? Okay. And another one? Okay. I can dodge those, I think. And I can't dodge that, it moves. This one moves, so I need to watch it. I watched it and it still attacks me. Okay. I don't know how to dodge that. I genuinely have no idea. A couple of fiery demon boys. Ooh, hard reads. I have no idea how you dodged that moving arrow attack. Are you just meant to run? You, are you seriously just meant to run away from it? That can't be right. Maybe it is, though. The arrow attack in the first phase is straight, but the second arrow follows you. I notice it follows you. You can repost him here when you land enough hits on the head area. Yeah, like, I think we can we can do him eventually. Ooh, 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 indeed. Like, I can dodge you, but the bloody sword. Stop. Stop it, please. Okay, you go left. You go left to dodge him. Fine. So I just need to attack him a bunch and he'll go into a weakened state and be like, oh shit, stop that. That's a... Oh, hello. Ooh. There's a... There was a chest there. Also, what happened to the big, like, spider boy? He didn't come after us. Let's go in. You run away from those arrows. You literally just run. Okay. We will both buff. My buff's much cooler than yours, because I just go woof woof woof, like a doggo. Learning the attack patterns, eh? He's improving. You're gonna do your shitty OE, aren't you? No? That's fine, you can do that as much as you want. You should really stick to magic. Your sword isn't, like, your thing here, I think. I say that, he's about to kill me with his fog, isn't he? I don't like how his tail disappears. I could swear you were meant to, like, bullshit him a little bit there. I can dodge that. You're gonna just do two of those, are you? No, thank you. Can you run away from this one? Oh, I might have to use the pillow for that. Oh, dear. Yeah, having an Estus trigger really help you. I'm using like twice as much Estus to heal than I probably should need to. There. Oh, there. Oh, I should have listened to my first hard read. Oh, I'm in a stupid position. Get out, get out of there, my friend. Oh, there's a little one here. Hello, where are you? Oh, there you are. Can you come over to me, please? Well, that's a little bit. This is, I hope you've leveled up endurance, isn't it? What are you doing? Oh, get out, get out, get out. There's a, a weed. 
There we go. Where's, uh... There. I should really listen to my first instinct. Like, I've gotten it right the first time and then I change my mind and say, no, somewhere else. Ooh. I should touch the bloodstone. I sure wonder what the guy died to. Get out of there, please, my friend. Ooh. There. No? Okay, I've gotten worse at sight reading where the boss is going to land. Like, I'm just guessing. It's not like I actually know. I don't know what that- oh, you're just using a wizard spear. Oh, one more! One more! No, don't get greedy! You're getting greedy! Him! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh. Where are you, friend? I need to hit you once, so please don't one-shot me. Hit you- hit you once! Once! Yay! I've done it. I became an excited streamer for five seconds. There we go. That's alright. <laughs> Ooh. He's done it. First try. First try. Very good. Unkindled one. What is it? The fire fades. Oh, it's Gwendolyn. And awaits its one last lord. Ooh. It's usually the opposite at the end of the room from where you are. Oh. Is in your hands. Oh no, wait, this is the old lady we murdered. Ooh. He got Please zoomed. Save his soul. I'm going to repeatedly stab him with a butcher's axe. How oh, I save souls? I'm a gardener. I'm not a soul saint. You want a soul sister for that? You went to stick close. We've done it. That was good. I feel like I could fight him again and do him again. Cinders of a lord and soul of smelly bumhole. And we've done it. Hooray. Sorry that I murdered you. I guess we were meant to fight the dancer of the Boreal Valley right now, but we kind of screwed that up. Check out the room to the side of this room if you want to go upstairs and get a ring of some kind. What, up there? Is there a... Wait, do we have a cool thing in our eye? No. From the Aldrich bonfire. Is an Aldrich? Hmm? Well, I'm gonna go quickly level up before we lose all of our souls so we can get even more endurance. And then we're gonna go do the Ash Lake. Go to Guinevere's room. Okay. We'll After we've leveled up, what we'll do is we'll run to Anor Londo. Quickly grab that thing. Hopefully the next area actually gives us enough large uh, large shards that we can level up our butcher's thing. Sweet. I'm gonna get so much endurance, we're gonna be great. Go to Gwyneth- okay, we're gonna go to Anor Londo and see if there's an item or something. What people are saying. Um, there we are. Oh, there's just an Aldrich bonfire, that helps. It's one of those bonfires they give you, but you've never actually been to, so a lot of players will probably ignore it. You could go see the Dark Moon Lady when you visit Anor Londo. Well, we're here now. Are there like little, um... Oh, it's Gwyn. Are there little, like... It's like thick Smoe's ladder. Oh, here we go, yeah. This is Smoe's one, and the other one is for, um, Small Boy. But our old lady has gone pretty badass in the last, like, five minutes, hasn't she? What's up here? Is this where, um... This is where, um... Giant Chesterhead or whatever used to live, right? Sun Priestess Ring. What are you up to? Oh, it's right at the end. Uh, Sun... This one. Gradually restores HP. Ooh. I might actually prefer that to the... Can we remove... Oh, we can. I'm going to use that over the... Avil's Ring, because we can still fast roll. But now we have like a tiny bit of HP regen. Is there like an item in here we should try and get, maybe? Like a little hidden wall? This is probably... The, like, dresser, isn't it? From the Invis Bridge. There's an invisible bridge. Like, this is where you'd normally get the armor set. There's, like, one over on the other end of the room for the evil boy who stabs your firekeeper. He, like, lives over there. I doubt they'd put another armor set, though, though, right? No? Okay. There's a room off to the left here, or is that just the other lift? From which you access the bottom of the stairs and the contraption you came up with. Oh, shit. Come back. No! Oh, how much is this HP regen? Oh, it's kind of noticeable. Like, it's there. If we're running around and we've only lost a bit of HP, that'll definitely help quite a lot. Should, should we go to Anor Londo and go... Like, go over there and go left, maybe? Or maybe we can just do it from in here. It's probably fine. The bottom of the stairs. Oh, the bottom of the stairs is in the big old spirally boy. We go to the spirally boy, go down some stairs. Okay. Behind the Anor Londo bonfire. Yeah, this is faster then. 
Yeah, we can go for around 1 hour 50. We've gotten like a couple of bosses done today, haven't we? We've got Aldrich, we've got Dancer. We've got another one, maybe, that I've just completely forgotten about. And we're currently stuck on the armor because we're not doing enough damage. And I don't really want to sit there for 58 minutes. Is there an invisible bridge around here? Because I do remember there being one. And you did mention it as well. We don't need to pull it as well, do we? We just go straight down. And you go to the Dark Moon Covenant room or something. Maybe not. Wait, is this an invisible bridge? I, do, I don't believe that. Do we have any of the stones? Oh. I have no idea what this bridge looks like. Have I never done this? Maybe I have. Maybe oh, we should leave a message for other players. How do we do that again? Is it with the white soapstone or something? Leave a white corpse. That's not what I want. I want to write on the floor. Is it? Is it not here? Is it a different? Oh, it's not even a soapstone. Um, visions of. Visions of. Um, is there like a bridge? Visions of illusion. Oh, I like that. There you go, because now someone will look out here, see that there's, like, a sign in the middle of note. Maybe in the future, when that sign renders, see that there's a sign in the middle of the bridge. We shall provide. Visions of rubbish. Well, because now, if our message decides to show up, it will, like, people will be like, hey, that message shouldn't be in the middle of the air. Speaking of middle of the air, wasn't there a sign in the middle of the air in, um... The Boreal Boys area? Is it just gonna go sharp right? I should make another message here that says, like, here, exclamation mark, right? Look at that. Pretty little bridge. I like that. So we write, um, here? Is there just here? Oh, here we go. And musings, here. Here are two exclamation marks. Very good. So now if people run across here, they'll be like, ah, oh, visions of invisible bridge, here. And then they drop down. What's the point of the prism stones? It's just to- it's mostly for that. Like, I use it so I can see invisible bridges, but you can also use it in, like, PvE to write messages on the floor, like, for a penis. Oh, I've never been here. You look a little, um, a little strange. What's up? Name thyself, stranger. I'm Morph, from Smart. Captain of the Dark Moon Knight. You look a bit like, um, Dragon Lady with, with the feet. A place? Yeah, I want to perform Dark Moon loyalty. I'm come to join your gang of heroes. Very well. Captain to this He looks a bit like Priscilla, doesn't she? You can test heights to see if you die to a drop. Yeah, that works as well. Yeah, give me a purpose. I have nothing to do beyond gardening. I'd like to garden some people, if possible. Oh shit, what are you doing? Thou's journeyed far. Oh, you don't have to stand up, don't worry. You've probably been sitting here for a little while. If thou shalt swear by the covenant to become a shadow of Father Gwyn. Can we like cut it off and get a cool dagger, maybe? A blade that shall hunt the foes of our lords. Ooh, can you give me that like magic? Then no, wait, I can't use it with my butcher's eggs. And the power. We can always get a different weapon, maybe, moon. and use it with that as well. I have like multiple weapons. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll be the Dark Moon boy. Oh, that was nice. Now a blade of the Dark Moon. Yeah, I look. I look the heroic. Only knight of our company. I'm the only one. Great. Swear this oath. All right. Cool. Yeah, this, I've gotten that achievement. I've never joined oh, this thing. If I... Hello. Um, I think I have one. Yeah, here, have a proof of a Concord kept. I will be in your hands. And have a talk. Long ago, Here's some dialogue. Yes, I can fly! Oh, I should have read what she's saying. Oh, my. Then thou art a dragon. Oh, shit, we light her. Or perhaps a crow. Yeah, I'm a well. crow. <laughs> Long ago... Now, such is the word long ago, only its covenant heirdom. Long ago. Long ago. Now, the f such is the word long ago. I'm a champion. Yeah, I'm great. Yeah, I'm not now. But only its covenant heirdom. Long ago. Now, such is the word long ago, only its covenant heirdom. Long ago. Now, such is the word long ago, only its covenant heirdom. Long ago. Now, such is the word long ago, only its covenant heirdom. Long ago. Now, such is the word long ago, only its covenant heirdom. Long ago. Now, such is the word long ago, only its covenant heirdom. Long ago. Now, such is the word long ago, only its covenant heirdom. Long ago. Now, such is the word long ago, only its covenant heirdom. Long ago. Now, such is the word long ago, only its covenant heirdom. Long ago. Now, such is the word long ago, only its covenant heirdom. Long ago. Now, such is the word long ago, only its covenant heirdom. Long ago. Now, such is the word long ago, only its covenant heirdom. Long ago. Now, such is the word long ago, only its covenant heirdom. Long ago. Now, such is the word long ago, only its covenant Oh, it's probably because they everyone wants the uh, the magic, don't they? They want the sorcery or the not the sorcery, the other one, the magic. What's down here? 
Your breathing's a little stunted. You should probably walk sometime. Like, not sit down there all day. Ha! Ha! It's funny, because I'm saying that. As somebody who's just sat in this chair for, like, three hours. Painting Guardians curved... Oh, this, I think, is an amazing moveset, doesn't it? From Dark Souls 1. Where are you? You look, like, cool, don't you? It is cool, but more like. Where is it? Yeah, we need, like, super decks for it, don't we? Doesn't it have, like, a cool backflip? Yeah, look at that. But, like, a jump attack is, like, a cool backflip that I shouldn't have done. Never mind. Well, that's perfectly fine. We'll just run around with this for a little... Ooh, well, you know, goodbye. Ooh, there goes the ember. Ooh, if you have the Dark Moon Covenant activated, you should happen... You get randomly summoned near an Orlando to fight embered people who wander in. Well, you know, I thought I could fly, so I thought I would test it. And the truth is... No. I can't believe you need decks to use great swords. Maybe we should put a tiny bit into decks just so we can use, like, super duper great swords. Like, um... The... Oh, Storm Roller has literal no achievement. I, I was wondering, like, what happens if you fight... What happens if you try to fight Yorm with, uh, zero level? Like, level one? Apparently you can just wield... Everyone can use it. It's nice. Not really a heroic weapon if literally everyone can use... Oh, well, you know, there goes those, like, 6,000 souls. That's fine. Sorry, I meant to Esther's. <laughs> ledge on ledge. It's the painting guardian gear. Well, that wasn't really worth it now, was it? I would like... I can still hear her breathing up there. It's like being in mumble with someone using voice activation. <laughs> Guys, the medic took 50. <laughs> Have you ever played with anyone like that? I've played with everyone like that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you, Marv. I'm sorry, come back. <laughs> Push me off. Um, is there any point even getting to the bottom? Like, is there something at the bottom that we should try to get? Is there a reason we should be trying to fall to our death repeatedly? Or is it, is it am I just being an idiot? Storm, Storm rolls is shit, yeah, but it looks cool. It's literally just for the Yorm fight, isn't it? Ah. There goes those souls, I guess. No worries. Oh, I can do like a bit of a leap attack with this, so I can push myself in a little bit. Ooh. Shit. Well, you know, that's fine. God, we have- we take so much full damage. We need that like cat ring from Dark Souls 2. Where you can fall from like a hundred feet and you're like totally fine, because you're a cat. And you go meow. Meow, I am a cat. Meow. That's what our old lady says. Oof. Let's try and go like this. Gravity in Orlando is pretty high, you see, is the issue. Ah, we made it. Give me an Estus shard for my troubles, please. Illusion ahead. Oh, we've been here. No? Wait, what? Are we in the... Are we in Irithyll? Is he? There's a reason to test your patience. We're in Irithyll. Like, this is this is Irithyll. Here, this, we're in... Ah. Oh, Dark Souls. That's really nice. That's like, I was not remotely expecting that. It's because you get the Dark Moon thing here, isn't it? Like, this is connected to the Dark Moon boys. And girls, I guess. You need to do the Cirrus questline for the cat ring. There actually is the cat ring in this game. Okay, sweet. Um, anyway. We've done all of that. I might quickly jump to the... Do I really want? I think there's a mimic right at the start that gives us a... A shard, but I don't know if I really... Uh... I'll live without it for now. We're going to go instead and go all the way to the Walnir bonfire. Go to Carthus. I think it's Carthus. Love the way it's so entwined. Yeah, that's a Dark Souls one moment where you like go around the entire world and you go down like one staircase and suddenly you're in like a completely different section from earlier in the game. It's really cool. It's nice to see all the interconnection stuff. Like it's it's good that some thought's gone into at least. Unlike this like shadow system. Look at that. It's terrifying. We're going to go down here anyway, because we need to cut down the ladder and go down to an area we completely ignored last time. Because I was going to do it, and then I was like, nah, I want to do, do Irithyll, because it's pretty. Instead, we're going to go like, ha-ha, oof, oof, etc. No? Oh, shit. No worries. It's all the way down there. You see all that, like, sludge and stuff. We're making our way down there to where it's all fiery. Oh, well, you know, we're making our way down there a lot faster than I thought. I was under the impression it was going to give us a little thing that said... Oh, you can climb down this ladder, and it did scared and ran off. Too bad you can just teleport anywhere, and it makes the area design pointless. Yeah, the thing in, like, Dark Souls 1 that made that important was that you didn't get warping until you beat Ornstein and Smo. And at that point, all the areas in the game that you need to go to are extensions of previous areas. In this game, everything's a bit linear. Like, if you go to a new area, you're going to a completely new area at the end of the last one. Like, this is a cool non-linear section. Like, you come back to a previous bonfire, and you go down here. 
and you go to a new section. But most of the game, you basically just follow a straight line, unfortunately. Um, like, the, the dancer stuff's pretty cool. There we go, now we can descend. We The bridge is dumb, it's got planks with gaps. Logically, you climb down. We did it! Whee! Very good. What's in here? Is this- You found the Demon Boy! Oh, it's Demon Boy Mark II! And there's a Mimic over here that I think in my previous playthrough gave me his uh, Mimic hat. But you can get the Mimic to fight him. And both of them are actually like... Like, the Mimic tends to win, doesn't it? If he sets off the Mimic, can he not- How do we get him to fight each other? I just remember this as being like a cheese way to get them to fight each other. Oh shit, he one-shot me. Okay. I thought I could, like, take a little bit of it. Have I dealt with the... Ballista yet? You mean, like, the Anual Londo? Adds down lower so you can sick him on the ads. Excuse me? The Ballista? Completely missing what you mean. This is Walnir, isn't it? Oh no, they were fighting the skeletons and they didn't break down the bridge. Okay. So I guess I need to be a bit more smart than that. I thought he was going to do, like, no damage because we're wearing, like, okay gear. Apparently- how much does our thing block, actually? Because it's a giant axe. I'm assuming it blocks some, right? It actually blocks more than our- like, more than our crest shield, maybe? Like, it blocks 60. Yeah. Our butcher's knife blocks more than our small shield, so I should actually remember that. Like, blocking with this is okay. You- you drop half of the stuff. Here we go. Okay. Thank god that you can do that. Hey, I'm gonna try that exact same thing again. Please don't do the exact same thing again to me, though. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We did it. Oh no, he hit it. We got him to hit it. So now he's gonna fight the demon, not me. You're gonna fight the demon, not me. You're going to fight the demon, not me. Yeah, look, they're fighting each other. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that cool? Because not all the enemies are on the same side, obviously, are they? Oh no, maybe the demon always murders the mimic. Oh, you killed another boy. Are you gonna fight each other? No, not me. I'm a good boy. You should be fighting the demon. He's our common enemy. Yeah. You can do it, Mimic. <laughs> Try your best. <laughs> he got destroyed. Holy shit. I have his item, at least. Don't mind me. Just picking up the black blade. Ooh. Black blade. That sounds cool. Yeah, that's right. You stay down there. <laughs> Thank you for so politely walking away. <laughs> I want to see what that is. Black Blade. Executioner's Greatsword. Everything requires too much- Oh, hello, friend! I'm just reading the item uh, description, don't mind me. Black Uchigatana. Black Blade. It does a... Something? Mm. Oh! Something to do with Walno. The Mimic tried his best, I mean, that's all we can ask of him. Oh, you're killable, but you're gonna murder me with your giant flame breath. You're gonna be like, woof, 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 woof. I'm gonna hide slightly behind a wall and counter you. What's that? Oh, it's a smelter demon. Try jumping attack. You know how to add muzzle flashes in SFM? Yeah, it's a particle. I think it might just- it's not called muzzle flash, it's called like... Weapon- ice, if, weapon effects? Item effects, something like that? It might actually be under muzzle flash, though, I don't remember. Like, rocket launcher particles in SFM are under rocket launcher. The others I think are under item effects, but I might be wrong. He just doesn't like this staircase. I'm gonna do that again, like there's no point in me being impatient. Do you think that wall isn't foam like the other one, or you'd be toast? Yeah. Like, I'd understand fire going through the wall, but, like, his weird spear from before made no sense. There we go. But he has a ribcage and everything. Soul of a demon? Oh, the powerful boys. Um, you just use it to extract souls, though, don't you? Oh, you can transpose it. You can make, like, a demon... Maybe the demon weapons, like the great axe and stuff? Ooh. Don't want to jump down there. They're just some skeletons, aren't they? I might take two shots. I can't believe they survived a um, two-handed jumper take. 
Yeah, we really need some large titanite shards. That's what I'm testing all these items for. Like, I normally I wouldn't bother fighting all of these, I think. I'm just thinking maybe some of them are large shards we can actually use. Our uh, sword for a bit more damage. Because we've got so many chunks. I really like using the Legend of Zelda jump attack on the skeletons in the Shadow Temple. Ooh. Come at me. Not from behind. I just want to kill you because I never bother doing it. Sweet. Are you going to come to life and go, whoa? Oh, large shot, exactly. Very good. You thought the Skelly Shield was a hat? I wouldn't be surprised. They do like putting their hat on as they're coming to life. I wonder how many souls you get from farming these skeletons. Because I've gotten like 8,000 from- Oh, I got it because I got from the lot from the demon. I was thinking they give you like 8,000 for doing this run. That doesn't sound right. A couple of skeletons in Carthus. You did more than I thought. Are we done here? He finished? Thank you. We're gonna go down here now. Like, this area shouldn't be too bad. Like, there's some spooky demon boys who go around and go puff puff with fire. You're not gonna fall the floor away, are you? Witch's ring. Ooh. That does nothing, right? Like, it's just the witch's ring from Dark Souls. But there's no NPC to use it with. Greatly boosts pyromancies. Never mind. The witch's ring is humongously important if you're doing a pyro build. Okay. I guess it's not the old witch's ring. If they'd give you 8k souls, everyone would sit there all day. Yeah, I, like, I felt like I thought I would have heard about it if that's what they were up to. I think we need six large things to get it to plus six. It might be four, but I'm going to remember that at the back of my head. If we can pick up a couple more smoldering... Like, I love this area. It's so pretty. Like, just visually. It's annoying as hell because there's a giant ballista. Oh, that's what you meant by ballista. Yeah, there's a humongous ballista up there. I don't know if you can see it, especially with, like, compression. But like, over, up there? Oh, there we go. You see where those arrows are coming from up there? Top left, near my health bar? Up there on the top left? That like thing there, watch him. We need to go up there. And there's also a giant worm that comes out of the ground here and goes woof. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run around the worm and go to the right. So I think there's a bonfire down there. I like the worm as well. He drops a, uh, Something pyromancy related, I think. Or like the sunlight blade or something. Everyone thought it was Salon. For some reason. Everyone, by which I mean one guy on Reddit, thought it was. You don't have to... There is there is a bonfire in the right, right? I'm not misremembering, am I? Because that's the demon king, or some bollocks. And this is a bonfire. Because the boss run's not that long. Big ol' worm. You take the blister out so you can kill the worm. Yeah. There's another shot. It's very good. You're a fire. Yeah, who are you? Miracle spell and a bone shard. It's a bone shard. That's the important bit. You can use the ballista to kill it. You want to do... Um, I might just go try fighting the boss. I don't remember him being amazingly difficult, but I might live to regret that. I'm going to give him at least one go, because it's just a big old demon, isn't he? I remember dying to him a lot, but I think I came here at a much earlier point. If I die a few times, I'll just go grab a few more large shards and then get a much better weapon, but... Critical foe ahead. Yeah, it's a demon. So that doesn't ever use the sunlight blade. Never understood the mechanism. What, is, what does he use then? He's about to come to life and be all woof 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 woof. Woof 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 woof. Oh, I like his beard. It's Cake, our friend. Old Demon King. That sounds about right. And he has loads of like demon asses, like undead asylum demon demons. There's a Taurus demon. Did you kill all of the demons? So he is just an asylum demon, but with a reskin, right? That's like his thing. He knows combustion. I guess you would, wouldn't you? Run away. Thank you. Um, I don't like being locked in here. What are you up to? You're about to do a one-shot, aren't you? Like an area of effect one-shot. Oh, no, never mind, you're about to throw this sky on me. Okay. 
Allure is sad yet awesome at the same time. Did he not just like eat all of the demons or something? Is that not like his thing? Or he killed them at least. Or is he the last of the demons and that's why it's sad? It's not that he murdered all of them and we're sad for the uh, asylum demon having gone somewhere else. Let me out, please. Thank you. Oh, we probably could have gotten a few more swings in there. Now you escape. Escape, please. Thank you. Don't run into the combustion, thank you. Well, you can just roll through the combustion, eh? Combustion's the big fireball he does in front of him. It's a, like, melee-ish pyromancy. It's that. Oh, don't you dare. Oh, he actually doesn't do that much damage. Okay. I guess we are a bit overleveled for this area, maybe. Oh. Okay. Good thing we ran away. Oh, the ring comes back. I think we could survive like two hits. The moment you can survive two hits against any Dark Souls boss is the moment you're like, hey, I can like take stupid damage against him and be okay. You see those iframes there? We got like pulled up against the wall but took no damage because we rolled. It's nuts. I guess they went really overboard because they made rolling kind of shit in Dark Souls 2 until you leveled up dexterity or something? I don't know what they called it. Did we just propose to you? Um, so I guess they were like, oh shit, let's make rolling amazing. Make everyone happy. Don't you dare, old Demon King. Oh no, he's sad and weak, like Sif. I get it, it's Law. Law. Oh no, my Law. We killed him. First try, okay. You overrate. That's alright, just give, give yourself a couple of hours. We got Ember as well. You got two large Titanite shards. No? Well, okay. Uh, how many do we have? We have three. Okay, we've also got a couple of souls. Don't kill him, so sad. Is he all weak and he's like, oh no. He's protected the lake from the other demons. There were multiples of him earlier and here's the last standing and because of his old age he's weakened heavily. Yeah, because I guess they give him loads of these demons around him. Because he was like protecting his friends. The stray demon Farron is harder than this. There's oh yeah, the stray demon. Wait, you say that? I died to the stray demon in Farron more than I died to the abyss watches. <laughs> hey. I would like to level up my... Endurance, only once. Well, you know what, no worries. I don't think I need his soul for anything, do I? It just gives you like a big old sword or something, doesn't he? I'm gonna use it. And his friend's soul as well. Yes, um, endurance. We're actually kind of close to the next level. We need 2300, 23,000 I should say. Do we have the... Rotted- oh, I forgot about this. Is that enough? No, we need, we need like 2,000 more. Uh, wait, is this 2,000 maybe? That's rubbish. We're gonna go back to the smoldering lake. Hello, I'd like to get more in endurance. Sweet. I don't know what like the soft cap for endurance is. Like, I think the hard cap is 40, but the soft cap is like 30. You might fight Horus here. Oh, I haven't talked to any of the NPCs in, in forever. That's alright, friend. You have more dialogue for us, maybe. Maybe not. There were other guys around here somewhere, like Sigmire you're meant to do some stuff with, but I never remember how to do his storyline. This game's a bit weird, the storyline stuff. Like, I can never remember exactly what it wants from me. Is it called the Demon Ruins? Oof. They did get the Grumps. Why is he a small body? He got small. He was small and shriveled. There, he was protecting all of these boys, and then... I don't know. Some bollocks happened, and he was old, I guess. The hard cap for everything is 99. Oh, is, is the soft cap for endurance 40, then? Is that the worm growing at me? You can grow it somewhere else. I'm gonna go get the ballista so I can fight you. 40 is usually the soft cap. Okay, I'm gonna try to get endurance to that, then, maybe. Because that will basically take us all of our souls remaining, won't it? 
There should be a massive book for the long stories of Dark Souls and lore through the three games. I would definitely read that, but I think the big part about the games is that you're meant to piece it together. The most we have is a YouTube series by, like, uh, Vati, like the Minish Cap boss. Like, Vati. He's done, like, a lot of lore videos. Um, ENBs from the Dark. Dark Souls 1 series. 100% recommend that if you haven't seen it. It's, like, super good Dark Souls 1 playthrough. Oh, it's a demon crow. Like a witch. Witches of Isolith. Thank you. Nice light shard. I don't need that. Nice to know that they drop those at least. And an ember. We're getting like a lot of embers this game. You kill the worm by hiding behind a rock and letting the ballista kill it. That's a bit cheese. I think we can fight him normally. Oh, it's the Farron boys. Who toxic you? Toxic? Britney, Britney Spears? Well, they're, um, they're engaged in something there. We're going to go the other way. I don't exactly remember what we're doing in this area, or if there's any other bosses, or if we're just going to get the ballista. I'm going to go up top. There must be, like, the other witches on the other side that use that. Did your friend tell you something naughty? Varty tells shit from Radix and steals other people's ideas. Oh, I don't know. I just thought he made Dark Souls videos. I really only pretty much watch e and B and NL on it, though. What did I just do? Did I just use an ember? Oh, I tried to. I was already embered. Thank god. Oh! Is that a... like a covenant? Or is it just a... just like a boar? It's like, hey look, it's the boy in blue. There's a slug above him, isn't there? That's a horrible noise. Oh shit! Why are you embered? You shouldn't be embered, my friend. Don't toxic mist me. Just don't poo on me either. That's like slightly worse somehow. Oh, he's burping at me. Oh, he's going to make me toxic if I don't roll spam as fast as I can roll spam. Never give up on roll spamming. That's why they called it Dark Souls 3, because you're meant to roll every three milliseconds. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm very good at these. Very fast. It's a hidden wall. And there's a demon boy in here. Yeah, 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 you're a demon boy. Kill the other ones for me, please. Thank you, friend. This is... You know what, I'll, I'll help. Thank you. You're not going to fight me, are you? We're good friends. That's fine. Can I like Dark Souls 1, you maybe? I don't remember what you dropped. Let's see. Do you drop? Oh, do you drop your axe, maybe? Large shard? Large shard? Large shard? Large shard? No, okay. A lot of little shards. I wish you could merge them together somehow. <laughs> They're kind of taking the piss at this point, aren't they? Black Knight Sword! Ah, uh, Is it not called the Dark Sword? Is it the Dark Sword? Black Knight Sword. Maybe it's a different thing. Maybe the Black Hand... Black... Black Knight Sword. Where are you? Black Knight Sword. You need loads of decks for it. It's a really cool weapon, though, isn't it? Giant, um, super big old great sword, isn't it? The sword's really good. Is it the one that I used in my first playthrough that ended up being a noob weapon, but I didn't realise it, so I had fun? And then they were like, no, you didn't play it properly, so I had to play it again. A different weapon. I think I used the Uchi. Hmm. I'm not gonna bother with you. I'm gonna go this way. This place kind of reminds me of the depths from Dark Souls 1. Like, it's a bit like a fiery version of the depths. It's like, hey, there's a snail here, and a rat, and all these other friends. I'm not a friend. Hmm. I'm starting to learn the moveset of this weapon quite well, actually. Like, it's got a really nice swing. And, like, the, the like, roll is quite nice. Like, the roll almost poke is quite nice. So it means you can get stuff in little corridors. No, that's the Dark Sword. Yeah, I'm thinking of the Dark Sword. Oh. What am I even looking for in this area beyond- is it literally just the ballista that I'm trying to get to? Like, is there another thing I'm trying to get in this area? Like, items, maybe? Hello? Oh, okay, well. I don't know if there being any other bosses beyond what we've fought, like the, the demon boy and the worm, I guess. Oh! Curse. Okay. Great mechanic. I loosely remember it. I just don't remember why we're here. They're a bit blind, aren't they? Despite these ginormous eyes. 
They're like big eyes aren't actually their eyes though, are they? Like their eyes are actually these tiny little things below them and these are just for show. And I think we've got enough curse resistance from being- never mind, I was gonna say I thought we have enough curse resistance from being embered or something. Apparently not and it just builds up in like tiers rather than slow. You run past the rats and drop down a hole. I wanted to fight the sewers boys. Stop murdering me, you're gonna one-shot me, aren't you? Yeah. Crystal. Ugh. Pume Ultra Greatsword. Uh, you go off to the left and there's an NPC battle that gives you a heavy sword. Is that like a fume... Human boy. Ooh. It was considered a noob weapon because it was just statistically really good and had long range and spammable. I just liked it, I just thought it was a cool weapon. I'm gonna try and find the ballista then, so I have to go like... Right and up, maybe? They nerfed the Dark Sword though, didn't they? They made it so it was like... It just had way less strength on it, or it took way more endurance, or something. I don't remember what it was. But it was like a huge scaling in strength and dex, so you shoved it on uh, refined, and shoved up strength and dex, and you did like a thousand damage a hit. And you only ever had to use M1, or R1. You didn't have to use any other things in the moveset. Despite actually having a pretty good moveset, I think. Let's just run through this area this time. Big old slug, he goes, oof, nice ember. That's right. And then you fight this boy and he's like, re Let me through, please. Thank you. And then you Estus and go, hoof, run away. You could three-shot enemy players. Yeah, 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 it does loads of damage. Well, that was... Oh, there goes all my health. I guess where the Butcher's Sword regained health. Maybe I'm misremembering. I also hate the sound effect, so I'm going to use a purple moss. Thank you. What's your favourite boss? I really don't know. I like the Dancer a lot. I think it's a fun boss. Any other bosses that like hit hard but also are quite weak, I like. So like it's just a fast battle between you two instead of anything else. This is a new bonfire. Okay. I don't know, what do people normally say is their favourite boss? Because I think Dancer is like quite fun. Oh, you're actually using the flamethrower. No one uses that. They also get staggered quite easily, don't they? Help! Don't- don't craw me! Stop crawing! Strange boy. Oh, you can attack those?! Alright, sure. I didn't realise that. Um... God, we still don't have enough things. People like the Abyss Watch. I like the Abyss Watch. The Abyss Watch is when you do enough damage to... Have a fun fight instead of it taking eight years is really good. The Abyss Watch is where you fight them at the point in the game you're meant to without doing like the deacons is kind of boring I think because it just takes so long. I like the abyss watchers for the music I guess. Oh shit we might die. Estus. We should try to get 20,000 souls so we can get that Estus shard. Estus ring. I could swear there was like a BM jump you could do because you could skip having to use the key. Was that the one I was trying to do and completely missed? You like champion? Champion Gundam? Okay. What, was, what is this? Is this like an ancient pyromancy? Oh, it's Isolith. Are you meant to be like a like a witch? You're covered in mushrooms for some reason. It's all blighty. I guess this is meant to be like Lost Isolith and the Demon Ruins, isn't it? Because that area was literally called the Demon's Ruins, wasn't it? Where's the... here you are. There's a really crap weapon in Dark Souls 1. Ah, it wasn't, was it? I thought the Dark... there wasn't even a Dark Souls, was there? I thought it was just the, the Black Knight... Or the, yeah, the Black Knight Sword or whatever. I thought that was pretty good. Or it's meant to be at least. Like, it does a lot of damage and it's quite fun. Why is there a big slimy noise? Are we about to find out? Large? Oh, a fire. Or, okay. What is that horrendous noise? You hate tunneling areas. I'm not the biggest fan of them because I feel like they're kind of, art style wise, they're kind of boring. Like, this is just the same wall texture over and over again. I have no idea where that enemy is. You're about to crawl at me. Don't crawl. Stop crawling. Put your crawl away. I have no idea where I'm meant to go from here. Is this bonfire literally just for the Isolith stuff?
you do more damage than I would like. If possible, I would like to escape and then use my Estus Flask. I can fight you again. Yep. You can just farm them for shards. The Black Knight Greatsword is good. Yeah, the noise is the crabs above you. But there's nothing else in this area, right? Like, unless I'm missing a hidden wall or something. It was really good in Dark Souls 1. It was good for PvE. The Dark Sword was just a long sword with really high stats that had a worse moveset. I didn't know the Dark Sword was even in Dark Souls 1. Oh, there's a there's a downstairs. Maybe that's where we come from. Is this a hidden wall? Yeah. I don't know where this is there. It's a fire boy. Oh! A bit rude. Oh, it's just the central area. Can we just run through here? Like, they won't hit us if we just keep running, right? Maybe? Oh, Esther's shot! That's very nice. Oh, this is just the other end of the area with the boys, isn't it? Okay. Well, I'm horribly lost. Welcome to tunnely areas, I guess. You want to go back to the area room with the creatures that cursed you? Oh, I forgot how you got there. I forgot how I got there, I should say. Is it through here, maybe? Hmm. Wait, is this where I just was, maybe? No, no, this is this is the right track. These are the... No, this is the... Back line. Maybe it's through here. There's, I see the crawl. Maybe we go left. And we go through here. And there's some rats and we drop down. Let's stop making those noises. It's horrible. They're like snorting at me. Why is this area blue? Is it like lit up by the midnight maybe? Ooh. You just need to keep making our way down maybe. And then there's the curse boys. You're not a curse boy. These are the curse. This is where we died. Okay. So I need to just never get cursed ever and ignore all of these enemies forever. Just don't worry about going near them and run past them instead. Okay, I'm on the right I'm on the right path then at least. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of getting lost. Wait, what was I just here? Is this is this the giant rat? No, no, this is a new area, okay. I hear some slapping, stop that. Hello, Black Knight. Oh, you just have a sword. You might be Arable. Oh, well, you know, that's one way. Oh, he is, um... He's in the lava now. Okay. Well, thanks for the free swords. We are. But this is about to take us up to the ballista, isn't it? This is where I think I came before, like, age, like years ago when I was doing my run and I had no Estus and I was, like, really worried. And I didn't bother doing anything with the ballista. I missed it. I don't think I've missed it. I'm up here, aren't I? Time for the longest ladder ever. Doesn't it take you all the way, all the way up through Carthus? It's a good time to drink lots of water. Here we go. I'm assuming this is where I need to be. It just takes you all the way from, like, the base of Lost Isolith all the way up to the equivalent of, um, the catacombs, I guess. You're not going to make me jump onto that, are you? Okay. Dragon Rider, though. Isn't there a Dragon Rider in Dark Souls 2? I have no idea. It sounds like a boss. Play some elevator music. Yeah, this is the most thrilling part of Dark Souls. You thought it was the hardest video game of all time. Try going up a ladder for like two minutes. Let's see what you think. Oh, here we go. The blister. Is it like just up there? Oh, Christ. It's huge. Um, Is there an easier way through? It sounds like Lord of the Rings, isn't it? We're escaping the uh, Mordor boys, aren't we? Go through here. It's like the back end. Snake Eater. Doesn't sound right. Was that an exclamation mark? Oh god, it's bone wheel skeletons. My worst fear. You thought regular skeletons were bad. Try ones that can go ho 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 at you. Oh, you do another attack, dude. I'm gonna just spam my roll button repeatedly then until I find the option to stop the... Here we go. We're going to stop this. Oh, you see, friend, I'm playing Dark Souls. I'm moving an object so you cannot attack me. Is there, like, another bonfire through here, or am I just expected to die and use a homeward bone? Is there a secret wall? Is it a secret wall, maybe? I swear there was, like, a secret wall. Oh! These boys were originally doing them. Ah, oh, overwhelming happiness. Okay, was there... 
Oh, I thought there was a secret passage around here. Maybe not. The Ballista is Sauron. Yeah. So I guess this was originally powered by these boys in blue. Have I done it then? I think I've just solved the area. I don't need to do anything else here. I just need to use a Homeward Bone. I thought there was like a secret, secret area though. Perhaps not. Perhaps I should just... Homeward oh, is it down here? Here we go. I found it. I found it. I found it. It's off the edge. Oof. Yeah, it's slightly less... Uh... Oh, this just gets you down. Maybe it's not a secret area. It's just a way to walk down faster. Huh. It's a crab. <laughs> By the way, uh, it's a crab. No, don't disparage it. Give him a give him a good. Maybe this is the secret area. No, okay. Do I seriously just jump off the ledge and die to a full that? No, I go this way. Okay. I was about to jump off and do a falling attack, a plunging attack on that crab, but that would have murdered me. Murdered. Fire crab. The scariest of all the crabs. There is secret passage, but it's down on the late level. Horus. Horus. Is it? Is it through there, perhaps? It's a little secret tunnel that's like, ooh, have you explored? Here's some large titanite shards. Large titanite shards. Ooh, it's going to be a, it's going to be eight slabs. I don't need eight slabs. I need to hit you once, please. Thank you. That's just twinkling. I can use that to level up my, um... Yeah, I remember this being like a super lizardy area. And then there's, like, nothing else but lizards, isn't it? It's just like a titanite place. I can use that to level up my shield at least. Oh, twinkling. Oh, titanite chunk. Yeah, I don't need that. Are you Horus? Is this Horus? Has he gone, um... Has he gone foul? I'm watching you. Maybe not well enough. Oh, it is Horus. Oh, I'm sorry to say, man. He's turned hollow on this journey of his. Um... Rude? Oh, he's a fat roll. Oh, I don't know that attack at all. That would have been a parry, come on. Oh, I don't have my little shield eclipse. That's a weird attack. I should probably like hit him once, right? Oh, I can like stun lock him. Never mind, he can stun lock me as well. Holy shit. He became hollow. Yeah, that's it. You have so much poise, my moy. And there's no poise in this game, so I don't understand. Estus, please. Estus. Use your Estus. But he has become hollow, doesn't he? NPC in Dark Souls that doesn't use Estus. What's this? Well, good my Horus. Thanks for the lewd shield. And there's loads of, like, bug pellet. This is the secret, secret area, isn't it? Oh, thank you. Oh, we might actually be able to get our sword off of this. Where is the secret zone? Agony. It's a weapon art. If you want to continue it... You have to talk to Anri after you kill him. Is this not the the zone of truth around here? Am I completely missing something? Is it is it you? You're like point this way. This is the secret point. Every time you say his not name, you nearly respond. Ah, oh, Horasaur. Or a Chow. I don't know why I said Horasaur. He gets hyper armor. He does the weapon arm. Oh, that's what it is. If there's no poison in this game, it's just super duper armor, so you can never get stun locked out of your attack. Is it not in here then? Do I need to go back? Lonely, you don't deserve this. Maybe it's off to the side somewhere and I missed it. Like, I need to look for a glow. Or it's on a different end, maybe? Now you can go and mess that worm up. I have no idea where the secret area was. Ooh. I'm trying to find it. When I find it, I'll be so happy. This is what I've been searching for my whole life. Maybe it's more in the crabby area. Like, it's slightly off to the side in here, maybe. It's quite easy without the ballista spying the shit out of you. Yeah, like the difficulty of this area is mostly ballista. The crabs don't normally do too much to you. And then you can run around and pick up all the little items and stuff. Oh, they're now we're just raining large shards. I have no idea what's... Is this where we just came in? This is where we came in. Okay. You kill Eldritch before killing Horus, so the 
quest line is over. Yeah, I never understand the like side quests in these games where it's like, hey, if you save this NPC before you've done this boss, then you can continue the storyline. And you need to do that five times exactly. And if you fight the boss slightly out of order, you'll never be able to do that storyline. I never quite understand what's going on with that, so I tend to not really worry about it. Because you kind of have to read the wiki for it, I think. You can't really just know intuitively not to kill a certain boss before talking to an NPC. I'm playing with a controller. Pull up on large titan shots. Oh, Christ. I knew you were coming as well. I didn't know you would be so loud. Well, there's loads of them here. Holy shit. We should probably go use them before we fight this weird penis monster. Lightning penis monster. Shield of Want was amazing in Dark Souls, wasn't it? Oh, Dark Souls 2. Oh, you have, like, a lot of HP. Or an enemy. You're trying to touch the body, because the body's what does damage, isn't it? It's like a bloody, uh, what's he called? A game with the big tall boys? What's it called? You know what I mean. Oh, hello. It's like that game with the tall boys. Well, you know what? Maybe I will go and level up my thing a little bit before I talk to you a bit more. Hmm. I think we've basically done this area, though. I'm going to go go get the... What was I going to say? Also, is there only 20,000 souls for the key? Because I can probably get that, can't we? Hey, Pat. I'm going to go and grab myself a better sword and then run back here and fight him again. You made the mistake of buying Dark Souls 3 without a controller. I heard Dark Souls 3's controller support isn't actually that bad. Colossus. Yeah, that's it. Shadow of the Colossus. If you make the gen to the dragon area with the Nameless King, you can locate ashes that will allow her to get twinkling titanite scales and even slabs part at a certain point. Oh, that's pretty cool. Saves up on a lot of farming, so you basically just have to farm souls and nothing else. Hello. Um, do you want this tome? Ah, what have we here? Another yeah, you're great. Um, I don't know if I want any of your, like, f I can't use any of them. They all take two slots. Arthur's Beacon. Damage increases with consecutive attacks. Ooh, that's, like, way more useful than our Flame Mark. I'm actually gonna... I use it? I can use it. I'm gonna buy that and use that over the Flame Mark, because it means we can... I'm assuming we can use that with our big old, big old sword here. We can use that with this, can't we? Are you still alive, like, hollow boy? Oh, are you gone? He's gone. It sucks to have the keyboard. Dark Souls 3, Light Souls 3, Pogchamp. That's a mega Pogchamp indeed. Is our like little grey rat friend still alive? We send him off when he goes and finds a new gear, doesn't he? Heavens. She was already dead. Yeah. Heaven. Yeah, she was dead. Okay, well, he's a little late on the times. Hello, friend. We need to get ourselves a nice... Where are you? What is it? The... Yeah. One more chunk. Ooh. We don't know where we're going to get that chunk. We're going to have to, like, find it, I guess. Nice. I'm surprised we actually had enough... I'm surprised we had enough to do that. It's a great question. You wonder if that stacks with the Pontiff Ring. Oh, so you do even, even, even more damage repeatedly. Let's try that. Let's try tuning... Oh, we have two attunement slots. I don't know. Oh, we can use both of them. We have so much pyromancy. I've just never used it. Okay. Great combustion, profade flame. Oh, you can't use both of them at the same time. They give you all of this attunement, but you can only have... Oh, it takes two slots, that's what it is. Well, let's try that, let's see what it does. Oh, we look like we're moldy. I have no way of testing damage. There's no, like, giant dragon in this game, is there? So I, if I were to equip that with the... Um, gradually restores HP. I don't really need that, I think. I'm, if I were to use that with the Pontiff... Oh, it takes us slightly over 60. Let's, like, drop two slightly better gloves. 67. Okay, let's try that. If this this with the ring maybe gives us, like, a million damage. Here we go. Big chunky boy. They're talking about the Suka Secrets Passage filled with golden chests. I have played this game. I just don't remember how you get anywhere. At all. Ever. Do we... Deacons of the Deep. This might give us enough to buy the key, maybe? 20,000? Oh, exactly. Is that how much... The key wasn't 200,000, surely. It was 20,000. You can go to the menu and look at your weapon's damage after you buff it. Now, nah, I want to try it physically. I want to, like, beat a dragon to death with it. 
what am I looking for? The key? Lloyd Shield Ring. No, I want the uh, key. Here we go. I normally don't buy it. I think I normally just do the bullshit jump. Don't laugh at me. You always do the jump as well, don't you? He's very, very flexible. Very jumpy. Madea. I need to remember actually how you even find the area with the... Oh, I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? There's another staircase I've missed. Oh, it's over there. Okay. There's a little upstairs way, isn't there? Behind. Anyway, what is it? If I were to use the buff now... That's not right. Oh, I mean, that is a buff, I guess. Buff myself like that. Buff myself like this. Two-hand my weapon... That's not two-handing my weapon. Two-hand my weapon and go to status. Status. We do 364, apparently. So I don't know how much that does on consecutive attacks. I don't know if we can do like this. You'll be trolled by a certain someone. Isn't it the NPC who's like, ha-ha, hoo-hoo, hee-hee, ha-ha, hoo-hoo, etc. He's like, not a very nice boy. And he locks you in the tower, and then you're like, don't do that. And then he's like, oh, but, you know, there's a ring in here that you want. And you're like, oh, thanks, man, that's actually pretty cool. When the entrance go right up the stairs. Oh, this is the bullshit jump I was trying to do. Because then you can make your way up over that somehow by abusing it. 